Hello, we are back. It's a beautiful day. The sky is blue. My hands are sweaty. And we got some PSA returns. How? Where is... There it is. What do we got here? Beautiful 25th Charizard. Man, these really skyrocketed. I think I paid like... 9,000 yen for this. For these ones. I just got three here. They're like 20, 20,000 now. Maybe a little bit more. It's just crazy. I didn't expect them to go that crazy, but... You know, I got two tens and a nine. These are $50 card submissions. Took about two months. Um, What's wrong with this one? I really don't know. I haven't looked over these yet. I haven't checked for my flaws. Piece of plastic, like, stuck in the case. Um, Don't really know what's wrong with this. Maybe a centering thing. Or maybe they saw something somewhere. It's too hard to check. The card is, like, so foily. But these got tens. Sell them. Probably make like $300, $400 each. I think it's an amazing card to buy and sell right now. So that's my advice. It's very good. We got a web. Some of these from my personal collection. I'm pretty sure this web Moltres was a CGC 9. And I was like, eh, I think that could get a 10. And I cracked it and I got a 10. This Venusaur. I think I had just had it raw, sitting around. And I didn't want to grade it because the corners are all banged up. And I was like, yeah, I, would, I just want to see what they think of this. Like, what does this get at the PSA of now? And I was pretty disappointed, you know. I don't think this should be a 9. I don't think this card is mint. I think the cor corner is legitimately bent. I think the card moves so much around in the case. That's just kind of sad. The opinion that I paid for on this is definitely just bad or wrong. So, not really sure why. But yeah, that's a 9. So, you know, happy with the high grade, obviously. But I don't, I don't agree with it. It doesn't always feel good. McDonald's Holo Larabutar. Pretty mint. These are pretty good. McDonald's cards, unless they get scuffed. But nice. This was a 9 as well. A 9 Zapdos, CGC 9 that I cracked. I just don't have the labels, otherwise I'd be showing off the labels. i got 20 cards to show. I'm about to get into some other ones I regraded. This was a... Yep, just a Mint Charmander. Didn't crack that one, just graded it raw. These are really clean, some of these 10s. I mean, obviously I grade them myself, I didn't buy these from anywhere, so you, the best 10s you're ever going to have are usually the ones that you grade yourself. But no, that's pretty rough here at the top. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a bit of wear right there. It's PSA 10 U2, let's check the bottom of the card. Pretty good. You always got marks on PSA slabs, you always got to rub them off. It's terrible. Now, we have some cards I regraded. So right here we have a, I'm 99% sure these match. I have a lot of these in this grade. So I've cracked and regraded a lot of them, but we got a nine and it regraded to a nine. It's just how it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Whatever the damage on this was just not good enough. And considering, I think this card's pretty mint, to be honest. Don't really know. I didn't, obviously I checked them, thought it was clean, but it's just how it is. It's just kind of bent at the top. Oh, it's got a hollow bleed. You see that? That's crazy, that hollow bleed that goes through the card. Can't even replicate the hollow bleed effect. Anyway, it's all through, but I'm pretty sure... This card, they must have closed the case on the card, because the whole top of the card's bent. So, that's pretty nice, I guess. They did that to my PSA 9 card. Appreciate that. And we have... <sighs> this one I'm really sad about, and I just don't understand. Honestly. I've cr I've crossed... I have crossed... Like over 200 cards from CGC. And I have a 100% rate on 9.5s. And I have like an 80 to 90% rate on 9s. 
and this has a nine. And I just don't get it. Got nine corners. Centering's good, surface good, edges were fine. They just weren't happy with like one of the corners, I guess. I've looked at it so many times trying to find like top left corner's fine, top right corner's fine, bottom left is maybe well right maybe so I don't know. I know there's like a little bit of edge wear there. Maybe, but that's so minuscule, like sometimes they're just really harsh for some reason. None of the corners are lipped. Oh, actually, no, I might be blind. I'm blind. I'm wrong for not the first time, but right there, there's something that's like lipping up. But like, come on, that is just for a PSA nine. That's pretty. That's pretty harsh for PSA. I'm not gonna lie. But you know, this is what I like to see. I wouldn't be happy with this if I bought it and it was a ten. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And now we got this one here, another nine five. It was my one of my sets. There we go. Look at the look at the label difference. Perturbed Gerdos Pikachu, and then it says like pretend Gyarados Pikachu everywhere it comes from. And this is just like some terrible label. But it's annoying because like this one's got a ten, has very clear edge wear there. But wh where is the like if that one little problem on the edge? You know, it is what it is. You can never complain about getting a 10. You just sell it and move on because you'll never win. But my first 9.5 that didn't cross to a 10. We have a, another one of these. Bad boys, boom. We got a 10. It's pretty clean. Nothing really wrong with it. Sorry if I'm getting the camera all weird. I'm trying to look at the cards in person instead of through the thing. Lots of E-series here. I think a lot of E-series. I messed this one up. Well, this is a 10, obviously, as you can see. 99995. Oh, nice. They scratched the hell out of my case. It's nice of them to do that. But, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm picking and choosing the right ones to cross. I'm not just choosing any. But, this is. You can't just blanket choose them. Gem in 10. It's not too bad. Upcharged 100 US on this. So, 8.5 is probably worth around 300. And then to regrade it with PSA, they charge me another one hundred dollars. Um, so we've got a surface eight five. It looks like there's a dent right there in the middle, so you can see that pretty obviously. It maybe it's just a surface mark, and I don't really care. But that seems pretty obvious. Wow, there is so much plastic residue that's like stuck on the back of the card that's bad apart from that surface mark what else did they have eight five corners yeah you can see here if this wasn't dented it still has so much edge wear at the top well, no, not so much but it's like pretty obvious Sorry if I'm waffling on, but at the bottom here, it's edge where the... I mean, yeah. I don't think this was an... Oh, look at that. Need to refocus. There we go. I don't think this is an undergraded CGC 8.5. I think that's pretty fair. The card has a dent and a bunch of edge where. I don't, I don't think... They, these were graded a long time ago, back when the full blue label that wasn't like the new style that they have now. Do I have a CGC card around? No, I don't, but... You can tell now when like the newer gray that's like what goes from white to blue and usually the box is centered but this is a nine so quad nine to a ten we'll see i mean it's an e-series card it should be pretty clean as long as they didn't damage this it should be nice but you know if i bought this as a cgc9 i'd be really happy psa 10 i'd be pretty happy this is a clean card you know what it would take me a long time to figure out why they did the quad nine on it, but as you can see here, it's not perfect. It definitely, like, it deserves some marking down. It's got edge wear in the bottom, but you go close enough to most cards, you'll find something. We got a, another nine, a ray baby. This is a hard one to get in a ten. It's very hard to find, but had one from my early submissions. I was like, uh. 
the hell is that noise? Okay. Looks pretty clean to me. Nine to a nine, and lucky last, an Espeon. I probably should have done the thing first. But nine, 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 five. So we got nine centering. And centering's not terrible. It's not too easy to tell in the new back, but you just look at how thick this part is compared to like the, that part. But this doesn't really seem too terrible on centering. Nine, nine, five, I, I agree with. And then nine on surface. Can't really see many scratches. It has a full hollow bleed though. You can see just one hollow at the bottom there. That's nice. In person, you can see it a lot better. Let's check the back of this card. No blemishes. Not that I can see. Obviously, the PSA plastic is pretty hard to see through compared to CGC. So, so but the only thing I can really see is at the top here. There is like a pretty, um, I wouldn't say obvious, but there is a dent at like the top corner. It goes into the card, but you don't know if that's like, maybe they dented it, but it's definitely there. You can see it as it dimples inwards. So maybe CGC gave a nine surface for that, which I think is fair because that is damaged. It has a dent. You know, you can't fault them for actually checking the cards, but not a bad regrade. Probably these barely break, you know, in their original grades. Or is it nine? That one, this one, and this one. In their original grades, they probably get like $800, $700. And right now, these are probably like closer to 3000 3500 So there you have it. Uh, PSA is probably easier I wouldn't say probably it's definitely easier so do what you will sometimes it doesn't cross obviously we've got two cards that didn't cross unfortunately but that's the way of the land you know you can't always have it I do think if I was to crack this one out I could get a 10 but I'm not going to because it's been regraded it's been graded twice now it's a waste of money so I'm not usually one to crack and regrade but when it's so obvious I just have to do it, but thanks for watching. Peace out.